Hi everyone, Peter Drew here and this is the over the shoulder video tutorial to show you how to run Hangout Millionaire software from the start to the end. Okay, so you can see the software here, it's just finished last night doing five or five videos. So this is the screen once the software is completed, that's what, it's, what it looks like. So you can either cancel it and restart the software or click on the restart button which I'll do now. If I was going to do a project for using another YouTube video, I would cancel, then run CC Cleaner and get rid of the cookies, etc. But since I'm using the same YouTube channel, I'll just click on Restart. So for this project, I'm using f photos stored in a folder. I'll show you what that looks like. So I click on Local Folder, select the folder the images are in, and the software always remember its last location. So on this computer, it's on desktop, that's the name of the domain, that's where the images are. I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm on my desktop, that's the folder, and these are the images. Simple as that. So I select that and the software imports those images and if you click on those also importantly if you want those images to come out in a specific order just alphabetize them and it will the software will choose them alphabetized I suppose so that's the number order there so if you've got your your images alphabetized select that or you can the software can create choose images randomly from that folder and you would check, click on that radio button I'll leave it in fact I'll make it random now the amount of photos this is how many photos will be produced in every video you create from the amount you have so I've got nine images in that folder though I want to randomize the videos obviously the more you randomize the amount of slides in a video that changes the center point of the video which gives you a different thumbnail and you want different thumbnails if you've got listings on the whole front page of Google you don't want the identical thumbnail you want them to look different so each I put the number three here to nine and the software will choose a, no a number randomly between three and nine every time it produces a video okay Okay, so on this is where you, where you select the profile, but before we do that, I will explain what all of these are. Okay, so what are these? First images order and last images order. I'll pull them up, the, the location of those images on your hard drive. So I've just opened up my Explorer. I'm on Desktop, Documents, Hangout Millionaire. So these are the folders that the software installs first page is here these are all the uh, default images that we supply and these become thumbnails on our VCN network so every video you produce that's indexed in Google from our private network the thumbnail listing in Google will be one of these or you can delete them and create your own and the last page is this default one which I leave you can also add more images and you can I've left that as the default one that you can edit if you want to have really cool last images for your projects you just edit that one um, put whatever call to actions or graphics you like on there and you can have one or a whole bunch so let's get back to the software so for the first images, if you have, you can have a specific set of first images you like to use, and they can be, you can have the first video use the first image, second video second image, and you'll do that by selecting on the number order, and it will choose them alphabetically. I'm just using this out of the box, so it's random, and the same for the last images. If you want to use a bunch of um, specific last images, you can create a bunch of those and if you alphabetize the names of those images 
the first image, the first video will have the first image, second video, second image, etc., etc. But we'll use it out of the box. You can choose to put a text overlay over the first images, and that's what I've used. Or you can leave it empty if you like. The last image text. This is the text overlay that goes over the last image. That's what I've used. And I spelt it wrong. Cool. That there is the text color for the first image, and that is the text color for the last image. Now this is the duration of the slide for the first image and you want that to be different every time obviously. So typically I use 2 to 4, that seems pretty good. And for the last image, 2 to 14. You can make that make that longer. Obviously you want your last slide to be longer so it plays longer and stops the uh, referred videos from Google popping up. So they're typically the numbers I use and it seems to work very well. Now here is the duration of the actual slides that the, the software makes in the video. So I use 2 to 4 and the software will choose between 2 and 4 seconds for each slide that it produces in the video. So I've just selected um, this profile and this has this information stored. Click on next. Okay, so we're on the MP3 uh, window. I'll pull up that folder so you can see. So I'm back here, Documents, Hangout Millionaire, and MP3s. So these are the default MP3s that we supply with the software. You can use those, but if you can buy other royalty-free music to use, I would recommend doing that so you don't have the same um, audio content as everybody else and it makes your videos different from everyone else less of a footprint I use it straight out of the box it works fine but I would encourage people to um, use other royalty free music and you can get it really cheap additionally if you don't want to use music you can go to our group uh, facebook.com slash group slash hangout millionaire and un listed under files there shell uploaded a file called silence.zip download that and it's got an mp3 in there that is silent and because we need to select an mp3 file and if you want it silent you can use uh, the silent mp3 delete all those or back up those mp3s in that folder and just replace it with one single mp3 called silence.mp3 Now this page is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously your YouTube email here and password, Tumblr email and password. Do you want to post to the VCN network? Yes or no. Post to Blogger? Yes or no. Post to Tumblr? Yes or no. Now down here we've got Hangout High Quality, Hangout Low Quality and Upload Direct to YouTube. The difference here is Hangout High Quality is obviously the best to use. Though say for example you don't want these videos, you want to make a bunch of links to existing videos to get higher high rankings. Uploading direct to YouTube is faster because you're just uploading a file to YouTube whereas with Hangouts it loads the video file and we're doing a broadcast. If your video is um, 10 minutes it will take exactly 10 minutes to broadcast that because it's broadcasting it in real time. Though with a direct upload to YouTube it's faster Look, that up. we put that option there for people if they want to use it, though I never use it. I always do high quality. Then we go next. This is the most important part, important page of the software. This is where your geolocations go. To find a geolocation, it's very simple. Just click on this. end of the city or address. If you're promoting a business it's important to put the business's specific address and that will pull up the business name of that address in Blogger. Um, once, If you put this geolocation in, once the software puts it in Blogger and it's related to a business address it will pull up that business listing link and put it on the side of Blogger which is very cool but I'll go gold. 
Okay, so it's found that location, and down the bottom here are the geolocations that we use in the software here. So you copy and paste that. So Control C to copy and Control V to paste into these fields. So what I'll do now is show you this title that I'm using and explain it. I'll put it in a text doc so it's easy to see. In fact, I'll do two things. I'll put the description there also. Control A, Control X, and I'll paste that there. What I want to show you is the title in the software, but placing in the description. And then I click on Check Spin Tax, and that shows me the different variations of that title. So I'll just run through the title in the text file. So I've got the keyword, then I've got in spin tax, different variations of the phone number. So every time the video creates, the software even creates a video, it will either be, it will either use this, this. So basically what I'm d d doing is ensuring that every title for every video I make will be different. So there's one, two, three, four, five different variations there. So it'll be keyword, phone, keyword. Then I've put another one at the end, here, now, or available. And that looks like this. Now remember, we're limited to 100 characters in a YouTube, t YouTube title. So I'm making sure, if I, if I put the keyword twice, I worked it out on this one, I'll show you close next that none of these are over 30 characters long so then I can have two keyword phrases which equal 60 characters and it gives me 40 characters to play with in spin tax so I'll get back here so that is how the title works it's re a really good idea if you can if you're using keyword phrases up to 30 characters to get the keyword in the title twice. I like to get the, the phone number in the title as well if it's appropriate for the business that you're promoting because I, I know myself when I'm looking when I'm googling local businesses I'm just looking for a phone number. I, I'm in a hurry I google it if it, if that number pops up there and that listing looks reasonable I just get on the phone and call it straight away. And now on to the description so here I've got the URL in three different formats www.http.www.renardasmobilemassage.com.au this time without the www and this time with index.php put on the end. I do that because it's, uh, it shows a natural linking pattern back to the website. When people naturally put links to a website they don't all do it the same way they choose different they, they put the link that suits them so they gives Google, it shows Google that there's lots of different variations, not just one link and one anchor text used thousands of times over. I've also got the phone number here below the URL. So when you drop this link in Facebook, you'll see the, you'll see the phone number pop up straight away and the phone number pop up in the, what's it called? The snippets of the, in, of the listing in Google. And below there, I've got the article that the client supplied, and I've just added spin tags. So every time the software creates a video, it will use a different variation of that article, a different spun version, basically. Underneath the article, you'll see I use the table of contents token, link wheel token, VCN wheel token, and a title. This title token duplicates whatever the actual title is, it puts it down here, and I like to put it there to, re to re reconfirm uh, those keyword phrases that we're looking for, or looking to rank for, even. Okay, I'll put, I'll put that um, back in the description, control A, V, done. Just check that spin tax. Now you can see, first of all, the main point here is the character count 
we are allowed up to 4,500 characters in the YouTube description. And you can see the different variations of those of that article with the spin tax. And that's an unlimited amount of variations. So I'll close that. So we're almost there. Click next. And these are the phrases that I'm going after. Couple of points. Oops. It's a it's a good idea to capitalize your keyword phrases like they are here. Often when you get a list of keywords from a tool or what have you, they're all lowercase. Um, these listings look much better in Google if they are capitalized correctly. What's important here, so we have a limit of up to 15 videos per project. Though down here you can have literally hundreds and hundreds of keyword phrases in this window. What the software does, if it was to make 15 videos, it would take those first 15 that's created and then put them back at the bottom of this list. So when you restart the software, you're all ready to go. So then you click next and the software goes out and makes the videos. So how many videos do you do? This is what I do. I do. Be, I choose randomly between 4 and 15 and do that every other day. That's, that's all I do and continue to do that ad infinitum. I make lots and lots of videos. The next part is I'll, there's 30 keyword, keyword phrases here so I'll go through all of them twice. Once they are done then I go into the SERPs and look for all of those. Then I'll find the, the links to the ones that are ranking the best in Google, make a list of those and then I start putting those YouTube links in the description going back here. Oops. I'll put up to five at a time down here and continue to make those same videos over and over until I get up to 200, 300, providing links back to the best of the previous 30 that we made and they will start to go higher and higher in the, in the SERPs. If you can't find one in Google, which can happen if you're in an incredibly tough niche, choose the ones that are listed highest in google.com under under videos they will come into the SERPs definitely it just takes links so there you go I'll be uploading this video to Facebook and also YouTube this will be in the video tutorial.hangoutmillionaire.com any questions go to the group find this post just search for it use the search feature in the group search for over the shoulder and you can ask questions below this video Thanks, and bye for now.